We've got another caller from your side of the pond. Uh, Ian Jules from the UK is calling in, uh, who, who apparently has proof for God. Um, and yeah, so welcome, Jules. How can we help? Hi, Matt. How are you doing? And your dear friend there. Ian Rowland. Can yes. you hear me? Yes, we can. Thank you, Jules. Yeah. Right. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, I There's quite a few. I've been listening to some of your shows Matt and um, there's some background fact, stuff going on. You... Sorry, are you at the pub? No, I'm in a home actually, and we've got young people talking in the kitchen. All right, All right. Uh, we can hear it, so I don't want them to say anything that, that they wouldn't want us to hear. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, so in terms of you asking for evidence. Yeah, Matt. Yeah. Um, uh, I am. I am a bit puzzled. I'm a Christian, and um, um, I I have experience and s seen evidence for myself. Um, but when I listen to you and you say you are you want evidence and you continue asking for evidence, yep. some of your um, statements, the things that you say, it sounds contradictory. So I will just, if you don't mind, I will just reiterate one of the things that you, uh, discussion that you had with Stuart Nicotil, I can't pronounce his name, strong evidence for God. Um, I can't hear you, by the way. Because That's because I'm not talking. Can you, can you hear me now? Yeah, can I you, can. Okay. You, I, I have a question for you, Jules. I, I have a question for you, Jules. Please. Instead of us instead of us talking about um, a conversation I had with somebody else, why not just you and I have a conversation along with Ian here? And since you said you have seen evidence for yourself, then why don't you just present to us the evidence that you've seen for yourself? And then everything will be solved, right? Yes, I will go I would do cool. that. But the, the point that I'll but the point that I'm trying to make is, as somebody who asks for evidence, you have stated before that even if God was to come down and reveal himself, yes. you wouldn't believe. No, that's no, 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 Jules. That is absolutely not what I said ever. I've never said that. I've said the exact opposite. I said I would absolutely believe, but I would not necessarily worship. Hello. Follow. Yeah, you wouldn't follow. Correct. Yes, you wouldn't follow or worship. And so Correct. this is the thing that you see. All right, so let's let's look, analyze this. Because if you was convinced that God came down and revealed himself to you, you would then be in the position where you've now realized that you're wrong about yep. God. Yep. And yep. his existence. And so you now yep. you now believe that he's got he's revealed himself. Yes. Yep. But you wouldn't you wouldn't follow him or worship him. No. Correct. I don't know why we have yeah, to keep repeating is. this. I've already acknowledged all of that. Right, Are you gonna present the evidence that you've seen for yourself or not? Yeah. Do you mind if I could just finish? Well, I, I, see, we're pressed. We have like seven minutes left. Here's the thing. I'll, I'll answer this really quickly. It's possible for me to accept that there is a queen that I am a subject to and for me not to respect or give a flying fuck about the queen and certainly not bow and curtsy to a queen. I can believe there's a God and not bow or curtsy to that God. That's all I'm saying. But you, I haven't seen evidence of a God and no God has come down to try to convince me. You say you've seen evidence. I'd love to know that. Why Why are you so obsessed about whether or not I'll worship when the first step is to convince me that I could believe? Because if you demonstrate to me that a God is real, maybe I'll worship. Yeah, but you, okay. I would move on to what my experience and my understanding, but the, the point why I'm drawing up these points is because no matter what, for what I'm get gathering from you when I listen is no matter what evidence you do see, it's not going to even convince you to then um, follow or, as you have said, worship. And so my thinking is logically, if you was, if somebody was present, God was to reveal Himself. Jules, 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 say, Jules. Uh, Jules. Why is this an issue? Yes, are you going to present the evidence that you've seen yourself 
Or are you going to keep harassing me about having a reasonable position that any being who demanded worship couldn't possibly be worthy of it? Uh, no, I, I thought we, we will have a conversation. I thought that you said you would like to have a conversation. I've already answered your question. You are just now repeating your frustration that I don't want to worship a God. I'm asking for evidence mm -hmm. of a God. You're either going to present it or you're going to keep harping on this thing that makes me hang up. So would you present your evidence that you've seen for a God? Okay, then now let's go on to the evidence. Okay. Right. So my evidence is um, there are many evidences. It's not just one. So in your best. terms of to un sorry. Give us your, your best. best one. Did you say something? Give, give us your give best. best one. My best one. Uh, well, uh, fr frankly, um, one cannot um, say, oh, this is my best one, because in terms of coming to um, evidence of any matter, you build Jules, evidence that Jules, is waiting. No. Jules, so, Jules, <laughs> you now have 30, you now have 30 uninterrupted, uninterrupted seconds to state the evidence that you've seen and to stop him hawing around and talking about how there's many evidences and one cannot frankly say one is 30 seconds, present your evidence or go away. Well, no. okay. So one of the evidences when I was um, going to be, I was engaged and the person who I was um, planning to marry I was uh, uh, very much um, in doubt of whether I should marry the person because of how the relationship was. So being a Christian, at, at, when I was a Christian then, I prayed to God um, and I asked God in my mind, I didn't pray out loud, and I said, God, please show me. Um, I need to know, give me direction of should I or should I not? And so as I prayed, and I prayed in my heart, not speaking out loud, and I said, God, from your Bible, I want you to show me clear cut what you want me to do. And I said, I'm going to open the Bible because the Bible was closed. I said, I'm going to open the Bible, and I need you to show me. And as I finished that prayer, and I opened the Bible, um, the Bible opened up, and the first thing I read, it says, Thou shalt not marry any woman in this place. Okay, stop. And this was taken. Jules, Jules, I said 30 Jeremiah. seconds. I gave you a minute and 15 seconds. So you were wondering if you should marry somebody. You prayed and asked God. You then opened the Bible, and it said not to marry. And you took that as a sign from God, and you think that's your best evidence for God, right? I said one. It's one of evidence. We asked for your best. So, what was the past? What What was the verse that you read? You, you, chapter and verse. The chapter and verse. It was yeah. from Jeremiah. I okay. can't remember the chapter and verse. I will have to look it up for you. Gosh, it must not have been impactful. You got it. You got it. You think you got a direct message from God, and you can't remember chapter and verse? <clears throat> How weak is that? This was Betty. This was many years ago, many, many years ago. Yeah. I, I think that if I got a direct message from God, I'd remember it. Let me tell you a similar story. My grandfather was approached by some people trying to sell him a well, uh, an oil share. And God, he sat down and he prayed to God and he opened his Bible. And the passage that he read said, invest your money. And he took that as a sign from God. And he invested his money. How do you think that turned out? I don't know how would that turned out. It didn't turn out particularly well. He ended up losing his money. You don't know what would have happened if you would have gotten married to that other person. You have no way of demonstrating that this is in any way a I, message from I God. Did. And I it's did. completely I, and I it's did. completely, completely unimpressive because I have played uh, this game before. I can open the Bible right now. Here we go. Um, let me ask a question. Yeah. Should I hang up on Jules? Matt, Matt, can I, hang on, hang on, hang on. Matt, Should I, I hang up on Jules? Here we are, Isaiah uh, chapter 10. Woe unto them who decree unrighteous decrees and who have 
right grievousness which they have prescribed you are you are the one who is decreeing unrighteous decrees you are claiming that you have got a message from god without being able to demonstrate it to turn aside the needy from justice and to take away the right from the poor of the people that widows may be their prey so this ties into your thing about marriage because now we're talking about a widow it is absolutely asinine to play this game and think that you've got proof of god it's called bibliomancy it's called bibliomancy and people have been doing it for centuries you can find you can open any book and interpret whatever you want out of it um so would you like to hear the, the rest of this no uh, no experience in no detail? you don't want to oh. No, I find it wholly unimpressive. Yeah. This is this is something good. Matter of fact, go to TikTok and look up the Swiss cheese predictions, which is far more impressive than anything that you're going to come up with here. But thanks, Jules. Uh, I apologize. There's, there's a handful of callers that we're uh, just not going to be able to get to today because uh, we have run up against our 90 minutes. This this goes by so quickly. It does. It does. Yeah. We we will it's have to get. <laughs> I, we will have to get Ian back on uh, at some point in the future. I look forward to the next time I'm over in the in the UK and and getting to hang out. But I definitely want to get you back on the show. I love loved your your input. Um, it's funny to me, uh, like literally, my my girlfriend just shared with me the TikTok where somebody's taking a piece of Swiss cheese and they throw it down on a piece of paper and showing what it says. Now, obviously, it's a setup. They 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 have set this up. It is highlighting you know words that are just too precise for them to constantly be getting predictions um but i'd like to take swiss cheese and slap it down on the bible and and see what kind of results we get i think it's brilliant as you know uh there's been thousands and thousands of amanities throughout history uh from reading air trails and reading books and getting signs from clouds and all sorts of things uh which is you know tied into cold reading very well uh you can get if you're looking for a meaning you'll find it but it's not a proof of anything at 